I'm Miriam Margulies, a veteran actress, as I'm described in IMDb, and I was sent a script called Ethel. And I always read what's sent to me, um, usually very quickly. And this was a short film, so it immediately uh, was appealing because uh, I like short things, I'm short myself. And uh, I, I read it and I was transfixed. I think it's a brilliant piece of work and it deals with a subject that's close to my heart, partly because of my age and partly because of the friends I've had who've been affected by this hideous illness, Alzheimer's, which will affect probably two out of three of us and all of you who are watching this. And I don't know what we can do about it, but there is an organisation called BAT, which is uh, Bouts Alzheimer's Therapy. And it's a foundation which has found a way to help people with Alzheimer's. And the combination of working towards something that's good and working on a film in a, in a part that I like the feel of is very exciting. In a script, you look for something about the character that melds with you. Ethel is old and so am I. Ethel is on the brink of, of dementia. Well, I'm not sure I'm on the brink of dementia, but it's not far away. I'm, I'm accepting of that. And I saw the character as a victim not just of the illness, but of the people around her, how they were able to deal with it. And I like the idea of presenting that, because I think the film is very sympathetic towards Ethel, and I want the people who watch it to be sympathetic towards old people, whereas mostly we are invisible. I don't know that I've seen many films about dementia. Of course, Iris, I've seen that. But um, what appealed to me was the focus on the young people and their attitude to dementia and their attitude to morality. Because you hate them, some of them. And I thought that was quite brave to show those people, those youngsters, as both aggressors and, in a way, as victims too. And that interested me. The natural thing is to ignore dementia until you get hit with it. And I think it's very important for young people to realise that it's lying in wait for them. That it can happen, and it probably will, to them and to their families. And this film forces you to face that. And I felt very caught up in it. It, it, it. it was compelling. And that's why I said I'd do it. Because you don't get any money for these sort of things. But it's not the money that counts. It's the vision of the writer and the way that it enables you to connect with an audience. I think this film is terribly important. I really want it to get made. I want people to realise that it's not just something happening over there. Dementia is right here, right now, in their families. And this film offers a window. It makes it possible for people to see through beyond dementia. It makes it possible for people to realise that they can do something. And BAT, which is the organisation that's uh, one of the supporters of this film, is, is keen for it to be made. And that makes me keen. You know, I'm somebody right in the front line. But what young people don't realise is they're in the front line too, because dementia is something that affects everyone, one way or another. Either it's you, or it's someone you love. 
or it's someone you see in the street. And I hope people will delve into their pockets and make it possible for this film to be made. The profits from this film will go to BAT, which is the Bounce Alzheimer's Therapy Foundation. And therefore, by putting money into this film, you're actually helping to make dementia not the monster that it is. You're, you're helping to, yes, to see through the window beyond it. And I think that's important and precious and remarkable. And I want it to be made so much. So that's part of the reason I'm here.